What's up guys, it's Brad from Light Architect. In this video, I'm going to show how you can easily add scratches to your objects in Blender in order to enhance their photorealism. A lot of the time I'll have a decent model and decent diffuse material on that model, but it's just missing those imperfections that we often have in the real world. So in this video, I'm going to show a variation on how you can add those imperfections by scratching up the metal on this helicopter model here by Chris Kuhn. We're going to be keeping the original diffuse material and then overlaying some various scratch maps on top of this diffuse material to add that grunge and then also to have a little bit more control, I'm going to show you how you can paint where you want those scratches to show up on your 3D model. So without further ado, let's get started here. This is going to be the starting point for our tutorial, but you can apply this, of course, to any of your 3D models. It's just a basic helicopter model here by Chris Kuhn. And you can see the diffuse material is pretty decent. You know, you have some good variation in the model. However, it's just missing a little bit of that photorealistic touch, unless, of course, it were off in the distance, like I've been using this model in some of the visual effects shots on this channel. So we're just going to add those imperfections to create a little bit more detail on it. So if we look at the shading tab here, this is the material for the base paint of our helicopter. So far, it's just a diffuse material plugged into a principled BSDF shader. So this will be our starting point. Now, there are a lot of ways you can create scratch maps in Blender. You can do a lot of this procedurally as well. I do sometimes like the procedural workflow. However, sometimes I also think it's overused when we can also get a really good result using real images. So especially when they're tiled like the ones I'll use in this video. So I'm going to be using several different scratch map textures here. So this will be the first step in this process. We'll be gathering these textures. So I'll be using one texture like this, which is a circular paint strokes overlay. I'm getting this from textures.com. And then I'm also going to be using this scratched paint texture here. But again, you can use any scratch map of your choice. The reason I'm using these specifically is because they are seamless, meaning when you tile them and when you scale them over your object, you won't actually see the scene. So pretty much how this works is we're going to tell Blender to use the white portions of this image to define where we want the material to be scratched. And we're going to do this by plugging in this data to the roughness and metallic inputs of our principled BSDF shader. So the first step of this process is gathering your own texture. So you can find a variation of a texture like this. Just search for metal scratches texture and ideally a seamless one. And you can find a black and white image of your choice, preferably a royalty free one. So without further ado, let's hop into Blender here. Now, since I don't want to change how our diffuse texture is on our helicopter here, I want to actually create a new UV map for our scratches. First thing we're going to do is we'll go to our helicopter here and I'll go to edit mode and I'll go here to our object data properties tab and under UV maps, I'll add a new slot here and we'll call this new slot scratches one. And while this slot is selected, I will select our entire helicopter that we're going to be adding the scratches over and I'll press U and then I'll just do a basic smart UV projection we'll click OK. And now we have a new UV map so we can scale our scratches over our helicopter without changing our original diffuse material. So now I'll go back into object mode here, go back to our shading tab. And now let's utilize the texture that I've downloaded. So I'll go ahead and press shift A. We'll add a texture image texture and I will open up that texture that I have downloaded. I'll use our scrap paint texture first. Go ahead and open this. And before we get too far, I do want to connect our new UV map to the vector input of this texture. So I'll press shift A go to input, UV map, connect this to our vector input, and then I'll select that scratches one UV map that we have recently unwrapped. And now what we want to do is we want to use this scratch paint data that we have on the left side here. And we want to plug it into both the roughness and the metallic input of our principled BSDF shader. But before we do that, I just want to check the scale of it really quick. So I'll just take the color and move it into the surface material input. And then I'll just go into rendered view and already you can sort of see where this is going. Essentially the white portions of this texture are where we're going to have those scratches. So I think the scale is decent here. We could of course adjust our UVs in the UV editor, but I'm gonna go with it. So I'll just reconnect this here and now I'll connect our color to the metallic input. And then I'll also connect our color into the roughness input. Now we actually need to invert this data before it goes into our roughness because we actually want the white portions to be where it is shiny. So I'll go ahead and press shift A and we'll search for an invert node here. And now I'll go ahead and invert that. Now, right off the bat, you might not notice anything here because we don't have a lot of lights in our scene, but you can actually sort of see what's going on here. If we zoom in real close, we can find one of our scratches that we have created so far. You'll see this little portion right here where we've just added a little bit of imperfection on our helicopter. So 
Already this is going to help a little bit, but we definitely need to enhance this effect a little bit more. So one thing we can do to enhance this is actually add a color ramp before our scratches are input into our principled BSDF shader. So I'll go ahead and press shift and drag my cursor across our node here. And I just wanna add our color ramp right after our scratches. So I'll press shift A, add a color ramp here. And now again, our white values are where our metal is scratched. So by bringing over this white portion of the color ramp, you can see we're getting some more shine on those parts where our scratch map is. So a little bit too much right now, but we're gonna adjust a few more things here. So at least we have this color ramp available to us so we can adjust things accordingly. Now, another thing I want to do to make this a bit more apparent is mix this in with the diffuse material so that the diffuse material where it is scratched isn't the same color. So. How we can do this is we can use our scratch map data to also drive a mix node before our diffuse texture goes into the base color. So I'll go ahead and press shift A, I'll add a color, mix color, and I'll add this right before our base color input on our principled BSDF shader. And now I'll take our color output for our scratch map and plug this into the factor input. And now right off the bat, you can see if we increase the color of our mix node here, you can see the scratches on our helicopter much better now. All right, so right now we have some large scale scratches on our helicopter, but let's say we want some small scale scratches on our helicopter as well. So what we can actually do to add some smaller scale detail with the same scratch map, is so we can just drag our original scratch map over here. I'll press Shift A, I'll add another mix color node here, and I'll change the blend type to add. And now I will duplicate our scratch texture right here and add this to the second input of our add node. And to make these scratches a smaller scale detail, what we need to do is we need to create a new UV map and then scale up that UV map so the scratches are tiled more across our entire helicopter here. So what we can actually do, I'll go ahead and duplicate our UV map node here. I'll connect this to our vector input of our second scratch texture. And now we want to create a new UV map for these smaller scale detail scratches and adjust it. I'll go ahead and go to layout mode here. I'll select our helicopter, go into edit mode once more make sure our entire helicopter is selected. And now I will add a new UV map and we'll call this one Scratches 2. Now while our helicopter is selected, I'll press U, Smart UV Project, this one as well, okay. And now we have a second UV map that we can adjust by itself. I'll go back into object mode, back into shading. We'll switch the UV map on our bottom scratches texture to Scratches 2 and nothing will change right off the bat because we actually haven't made anything different about this UV map texture. But what we can do, if we go into UV editing mode, make sure your scratches two is selected. And now what we can do is we can select all of our vertices on our UV unwrapping here over our scratches. And we can just press S and scale it up quite a bit over our texture. Now if we go into object mode, rendered view. You'll see that in addition to our large scale detail like this guy right here, we also have these smaller scratches all over our helicopter as well. So now what you can do if you want to vary the amount of detail from your two scratch map textures is you can just select the various UV maps and adjust them from here. So I think this guy's a little bit too big, our scratches two texture. I'll bring it down a little bit. So it's not quite a small scale detail. We can still see a little bit more of it. But again, this is kind of up to you at this point. So I'll go back to our shading tab here. And I actually want to increase our factor all the way to one on our add node here so that those second smaller scratches show up a bit more. And of course, we can adjust our color ramp if they're a little bit too much in our scene. But this is the general idea. Now, one more thing I wanna show you guys is how you can paint on where you want certain textures to show up. So I wanna actually add one more scratches texture that we're actually going to control via texture painting. So I'll just drag over our main scratches over here, move this to the side, and I will duplicate our add node here. Go ahead and press Shift D, duplicate that. And now I'll press Shift A, I'll add a new image texture here. And we're going to create a new image texture. So I'll click on new and you can choose how detailed you want this image texture to be. I'm gonna go for something like 2000 by 2000. Click on okay. And we'll call this image painted scratch map. And we'll connect this color input into the factor of our add node here. And now we will utilize the second more prevalent scratch map texture that we have here. So I'll go ahead and press shift A and we'll add a new image texture. We'll connect this one to the bottom input of our add node and I'll open up that texture. Just another scratch map that's a bit more prevalent. And I'll actually use our second scratch map UV map on this scratch map texture as well. So I'll just duplicate this guy, add it into the vector input of this scratch map. And now you can see if we connect this color input into the material output, 
what this scratch map is going to look like. So we could create our own UV map for this scratch map as well, but I think this is gonna look just fine. So I'll just reconnect this. And now we do want to create one more UV map for our own painting process. So I'll go back to layout mode here, select our helicopter, go into edit mode once more, select all of our helicopter here, and under our object data properties, we'll add a new slot for another UV map, and we'll call this painted map. Make sure this guy is selected in edit mode, press U, smart UV project, okay. And now we have our own new UV map that we can paint over. And now we'll go back into our shading tab, and we're going to use this new UV map for the vector input of our painted scratch map texture that we have created. So I'll press shift A, go to input UV map, connect this guy into our vector input, and now I will select our painted map option. And now what we wanna do is we want to use this painted scratch map as the factor input of this add node to tell where to overlay these circular strokes. So right now, nothing is happening because we haven't actually painted anything with the scratch map. So now let's get into the texture painting process. So I'll go to the texture paint tab here and we'll make sure that the active tool and workspace settings is selected. Make sure that you have the right material selected and that our painted scratch map texture is selected as well. And now what we want to do is we want to paint white where we want those circular scratches to show up. So I will bring down our radius here and I'm just going to add some scratches where I think they would more naturally occur. So possibly around this uh, engine output here, maybe some closer to the wing here. This is really kind of up to your own discretion, maybe some on the front of the helicopter. I'm gonna to try to be pretty quick with it, but of course you can be more detailed if you like. All right, for the sake of this tutorial, we're gonna go with something like this. Now, one thing we want to do first before we do anything else is save all of your images. So I'll go ahead and press save all images. Make sure your project is saved as well so we don't actually lose that data. Now we'll go back into our shading tab here and we have painted this map that's going to drive our circular strokes. So now if we go into rendered view, you can see we've actually painted sort of some wear and tear on our helicopter here. Not perfect, I think the smudges are a little much, but one thing we could do to help enhance or you know maybe dial back this effect is we could add a color ramp before our painted scratch map gets to our add node. So I'll press shift A and we'll search for our color ramp, add this right here. And we could either dial back the prevalence of these with the black slider, or we could make them more intense by changing the white slider. Now you can see we're actually painting where we want this extra detail to be. I might dial it back a little bit for this one for just kind of like a subtle detail, almost kind of like an oil stain is making it more shiny, but this is definitely looking much better than the original result. And to pick up the new scratches, I might just add a light to our scene really quick. Off to the side here, bring up the power to a thousand. And we can see what our scratches are looking like a bit better. And yeah, at this point you can adjust your various UV maps to change the scaling of the detail on each specific scratch map that you've added to your helicopter until you get the amount of detail that you want depending on the shot that you're going for. Anyways guys, that is it for this video. I hope it was helpful. As always, feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions or suggestions in the comment section below. Let us know what you'd like to learn next on the channel. 